Hey everyone, Dennis here at the Federated Shipyard, coming to you with another uh, build. Uh, first of all, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone out there, all my uh, subscribers and modeler friends. Um, and plus, I'm going to apologize for uh, my absence. I've been gone for about three months. Been getting a lot of stuff done here around the house. I had to put a new roof on, some gutters, and a lot of ton of yard work to do and clean up. So, uh, before the snow falls, that is. But for now, this is what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to start off with uh, the shuttle here and the booster set. It's uh, one 228 scale, or 288 scale. Apologize for that. <clears throat> so it's going to be pretty small. Um, the shuttle is actually probably about the size of this actual patch. So uh, I'll get going on that. What I plan on doing is uh, lighting it up. Uh, not the shuttle itself, but uh, the rocket boosters to make it look like it's taking off from the, the launch pad. So that's what the plan for now. So I'm gonna get on, get going on it, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. All right, guys, um, work on the shuttle goes on. Uh, I forgot how small this this model was. It's been kind of tedious making. Uh, uh, masks for it. Uh, what I did was I painted it white and then I made the masks for the, to line it for the black. Of course at the bottom you don't need that because it's all black. But, or it's actually a really dark dark gray with uh, from the, uh, the real one. The, so, but uh, I got it masking I did for the windshields area here and the tip of the nose along the wing tips and edges. Now I'm going to be working on the tiny tail. I've got it all masked off to where all the white mask masked off, but now I just need to, uh, got to use the airbrush here and put some um, model air black on it. So what I'll do is get that on there and then I'll get the, the fin mounted on the back and then I'll start working on the engines I just want to show you where I was at and go. keep on going. Back in just a few. Alright guys, <clears throat> continuing is the working on the space shuttle here. Uh, what I ended up doing was uh, going online and getting some reference material for the shuttle because I want to do the Columbia. Um, I got a couple of reference floors here. Here's one so you can see it. Something like that, and then I also got uh, uh, some, I don't know if it's a painting chart or what, but this is on there. It shows like where all the different tail lines are on it, so that way you can get the, the model to match. So I've been so I've been working on getting like here the tail, that extra on here in the front, right there, and along here in the side, towards the front of the wing. Um, and then I was looking at closer pictures of it here that I have that, uh, that leading edge of the wing here is that dark gray. So I'm going to be working on that now since I found that information out. And go from there. Once I get to that taken care of, then I'm going to start weathering it to make it look like it's been up there a couple times. So that's where I'm at right now. And I'll be back in a few to show you the update. All right, guys. <clears throat> Another update here. What I've been working on now is uh, putting the fine lines like on the bay doors here. What I've been using is this pencil actually so I don't get too dark of lines. Um, so I'm a mechanical pencil. It's been working pretty good. It gets right down in there with that flat edge. It gets right into the creases there so it actually highlights it now. So you can actually see them instead of just being completely white like that. I think it's looking pretty good. So now all we got to do now is uh, clear coat this one and put the decals on it and then I can start working on the boosters. So I'll get on it and be right back. Alright guys, back. Um, what I've been doing here now is I've got the boosters and the fuel tanks put together, glued. I glued, a, you can see here on the bottom, these clear uh, steering shafts from one of the sprues. What I'm going to do here is uh, I got 
these little three millimeter white lights right here that I'm gonna glue on on each side to give it a blast of the light so it uh, looks like it's taking off because on the stand here what I'm gonna do is have it to where it's like well it'll be this far above it and it's gonna look like it, uh, and I'll have some cotton or anything to make it look like it's blasting off so shuttle's pretty much done I got all the the weathering done on it what I used uh, for the grid lines on the bay doors was a mechanical pencil and I just went through the each of the areas I'm gonna be doing that again for this right here on the boosters these little squares and there's these little grid lines here on the sides I'm gonna kind of do the same thing to them to kind of give them some definition so they just don't it doesn't look solid white all the way down uh, what I've been painting here now is the the different piping on the sides of this fuel tank and as soon as I get the finished doing that I'll come back and show it to you um, and then get the painting done on the boosters so I will be back shortly all right guys here it is I got carried away with uh, other things on it and I ended up finishing it uh, pretty much done with it now I guess um, I'm not too uh, thrilled with uh, the cotton I had the wrong kind the only kind of cotton that I had was uh, it was kind of it came in the sheet and it was really thin it was used for snow for uh, villages and, for, and stuff like that so I'm gonna have to get me some different cotton and then I'll probably just re-put the tear this off and put the new stuff on but again this, this is for me so I'm not really too upset about it or anything like that uh, well, I'll, I'll get, go up. but when I have time I'll uh, get it changed and then I'll show it to you again but I think it turned out pretty good I like it. Uh, what I'll do now is uh, uh, do uh, put up a uh, slideshow of the progress that I made uh, while I was building it, and then a video at the very end for the uh, the final uh, view of it, and we'll go from there. I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers and my current subscribers for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button to be greatly appreciated. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.